Hey everybody, Gary Edelman, American Battlefield Trust. Let's talk about Little Round Top. You know Little Round Top. Little Round Top, the rocky hill south of Gettysburg where Union and Confederate troops struggled on the Union left, the Confederate right on the afternoon of July 2nd, 1863. It's one of the most famous fights of the Civil War. Um, and because of that, Little Round Top saw heavy use by visitors and others um, for nearly 160 years ever since the Battle of Gettysburg. Erosion, accessibility, overcrowding, um, an inability to see what you want to see due to the difficult terrain, big groups there, um, all affect the hill. Um, and people like me, licensed battlefield guides who are trying to help people see the hill. The degradation of the paths and trails over the years, most of you have seen these before, um, all have a negative impact. For years, the National Park Service, the Gettysburg Foundation, and indeed the American Battlefield Trust, you know, hope to see something done about not only the erosion, but to make it a safer and easier place to go visit. The National Park Service and the foundation worked for years to raise the money to, uh, you know, make the plans for what they needed to secure bids for that work. And at last, in the summer of 2022, in a painful move for many people who Love Gettysburg, myself included. The hill was closed for a year and a half, maybe two years, as fences blocked access to the Rocky Hill. About midway through the projects, uh, in the winter of 2023, our friends at the National Park Service allowed the American Battlefield Trust special access out to Little Round Top with the sole goal of being able to show you, uh, our viewers, what is happening up on the Rocky Hill? And I'll tell you, we can already see uh, the difference. Um, I'll say that as soon as you go up on the hill, monuments and markers and trees were protected right away um, so that any impact of the work would not impact uh, these important features on the hill. Um, I've seen non-historic tree lines actually thinned and in some case moved. Um, I've seen stone walls uh, that have been uh, reconstructed, uh, namely those out near the 20th Main Monument. You can see an immediate difference. They looked more like they looked in the early park. I'm fascinated by seeing the way that they are reconstructing the trails, uh, how they're carefully laid, how you can see the much more durable materials that are going onto sort of the uh, dirt and metal framed uh, pathways so that well, they'll not only be more durable, but also accessible for many more visitors. Um, I've seen uh, the plans for and some of the initial work associated with a more sensible parking. And anybody who's ever unloaded a bus on Little Round Top, if the prime two bus spots are taken, knows that we needed to do something about our fears of watching somebody tumble over the side of the hill while trying to get off of a bus. I look forward to that being safer. Other pull-offs might help to accomplish um, that. Now, while all this work is going on, the Park Service is considering whether previous commemorative items that used to be on the hill might be appropriate to put back. At the same time, substantial archaeology in association with what has also gone on at Devil's Den has been conducted at Little Round Top. Some of that's been in the news lately. Uh, and you can go on YouTube on Addressing Gettysburg or on the National Park Service Gettysburg National Military Park YouTube and learn a little bit about uh, the fascinating archaeology already taking place there. I would also say for a detailed glimpse of the hill before the project, we knew this was coming, see the American Battlefield Trust hike little round top video up on our YouTube channels. Uh, we used one and sometimes two GoPro videos at a time to show you the whole hill in I think about an hour or so. So, you know, this is somewhat painful for many of us, but I hope you can see in this video some of the great work that's going on that it'll eventually you know, lead to a safer and better visitor experience. And that's what we want. We want people to come to these battlefields. We want them to take their kids to these places and we want their those kids' lives to be positively impacted. Maybe they'll be inspired to go and make a career of it or take their grandchildren uh, back to the hill. And that's what the park is supposed to do, preserve and protect uh, Gettysburg for future generations. So I thank them for allowing us this uh, limited access onto Little Round Top. Uh, we appreciate you watching this video and we will sit patiently with you until Little Round Top can be opened. But the way I see time flying by, it'll be before we know it. Thank you.